and gentlemen, we are ready for quarterfinal fight number three and the eight-man eliminator. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way now to the blue corner, would you please put your hands together? Here is Jamie! scarf over his shoulder representative of the suffering of some of the children in Gaza he comes from the ETK North Shore gym trained by Greg Nisbet and here's my pick as the dark horse in this tournament a Kyokushin fighter 13 wins 7 losses but they have come at the highest level Four KOs. He has suffered from having to fight at Southpaw over the last 12 months due to a shoulder injury, but he's back to his conventional stance and his leg slinging best. He is the reigning world heavyweight amateur champion. One that against all comers from throughout Europe, Russia, America and Asia. 15 wins, just the single loss, 5 KOs. He is clearly the taller fighter. Comes from Fortitude Thai Boxing in New Plymouth. Trained three. by Bryce Barron, a former it's New Zealand three, cruiserweight three, and heavyweight three, champion. First fighting in the blue corner. He has 13 wins, five losses, four by KO. He's the current NZNBF, WKBF, and NZWMC professional cruiserweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Jamie, the Kyoka Shinkan Eats. And the classic And his opponent fighting in the red corner has 15 wins, only one loss with five big wins coming by way of KO. He's the current IFMA World Heavyweight Gold Medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Zane Hyman Both of these boys have been on the big stage. Hoffman though coming up from amateur. And referee Clyde Cowley, very experienced international referee. Three by three. Jamie Eads, he is older and slightly shorter, but otherwise evenly matched. Eads, though, is a seasoned professional. Three. Hopman, this is just his second professional bout. Five. And Woo. we're underway. You can immediately hear the weight that Eads throws into his kicks. Hoffman, the taller of the two, and he is used to kick catching. You're allowed to hold the kick and deliver one technique. Step up knee there from Eads. Probably the naturally heavier of the two men. And you'll notice Eads very adept at throwing. Nice little inside tie kick went underneath the check. Eads very adept at throwing the kick off the punches. And he had faked the right kick, came over with that step up. A minute gone in this is the first round. Not a lot of feeling out. Nice low leg kick off the jab. Heavy kicks from Eads. And again, he's gone for that step over a couple of times now. Just watch him turn that left front kick into a head kick. Got to be very cautious. Nice crisp right hand there from Hopman. Out of the two, you'd probably say Eads was favoured. And exchange of leg kicks, Hopman stealing the points back. Heavy shin kick to the body. Another one, Hopman intercepts that with the front kick. Went a little bit south of the border. And that's, he's telegraphing that now a little bit, Eads. 
stepping over needs perhaps to set it up a little more very heavy on his feet he's just uh, looking to secure the head with his left hand deliver the coup de grand knee heavy kick answered with the punches from Hopman and you'll see just tree trunk legs from Eads. Nice counter there from Hopman. Whopping right hand. It wasn't pretty, but it is effective from Eads. And that's an effective technique too from Hopman. Cuts out the round kicks with the front kick interception. Exchange of kicks, Eads is the heavier. Hopman has the better hands, you do well to use them. And this is where we see the knees come in. Okay, stop. Step back. 30 seconds to go in this is the first round. This is our third quarterfinal. Nice counter from Hopman. It's a very even round so far. Step up front kick from Eads. Answered in kind. Hopman, the dark hair. The red thumbs on his gloves. Nice exchange of punches from both boys. Eads, though, he stalked throughout most of this bout, starting to go to work with those heavy, heavy rib kicks of his. Cuffing left hook there from Hoffman. Well, Hoffman is the taller of the two fighters. He's not using his hands to as good an effect as he might like. Roman Wiley, we saw her earlier with a majority decision win against Galen Nixon. Jamie Eads, though, just so heavy with his kicks. He throws them so easily. His tight trainer in his corner. Hoffman started well, went underneath the check with that low kick. Crisper right hands, but Eads, as the round wore on, just started to move forward in methodical fashion. And those kicks of his are so heavy. They start to take a toll and wear you down. Roman Wally, the brave heart, very happy with her win earlier. Bryce Barron knows his man has some work to do. It was a close first round, but if we had to call it, you'd edge it the way of the blue corner. Jamie Eads. And we're underway in round two. Nice straight right hand there. Teep very high. And there's the right hand that does work against Jamie Eads if you throw it. And another one. And the single knee. Clyde Carley calling for them to punch out after throwing the knee. Now Jamie Eads, he's just falling off balance when he throws his shots. Which means if you make him miss or you counter straight away, he could be vulnerable. That one was checked there. Nice little uppercut on the inside from Hopman. Slip work. Exchange of jabs. For a kick there. And again, that left leg kick. He gets it up very easily. Eads. Heavy shot. Looking for the uppercut. Hopman needs to find a way to stop that left leg kick from happening. Nice. Left hook, right hand from Hopman. He can find a home with that right hand, just needs to throw it. And again, nice work, stealing the point back from Hopman. And a heavy kick of his own. Hopman starting to find his range in this, the second round. Check that kick. And the step over two. Followed by the left knee from Eads. Breathing uncharacteristically hard. He's more heavily muscled than I've seen him in the past. Nice work to the body there from Hopman. Crisp handy work. Teep to the body off the left leg. And again, left leg teep. And the leaping knee, reminiscent of Israel Adesanya that we saw earlier. A minute to go in this, the second round. Zane Hopman, he's working well. Jamie Eads slowing down noticeably. Uh, looks spectacular, just a slip. And once again, Hopman intercepting the kicks with that front kick. And the straight right hand answering the kick. 
30 seconds to go. There's the head kick there from Meads. Taking on the gloves. Looping hook from the southpaw position from Hoffman. Crisp hands, not a lot of power in them, but sharp and catching the judges' attention. The final 10 seconds ticking away on this. The second round has been a Hoffman round. He's looked sharp. There's a right hand that may have turned the course of the fight. Is it too little, too late? And another right hand from Hoffman. Well, the bell couldn't have come at a better time up until that moment. It was Hoffman's round. That has made it very, very close. Double right hands rolled Hoffman to the core. Well, I'll go out on a limb and give that one to Hoffman. He landed the better shots throughout, but very close. The judges may even have scored in a draw. Essentially, we're going into this third and final with it all on the line. And there was that looping, thudding right hand from Eads, and he landed another one just there right on the chin. Hoffman, he's very fit. But the bell couldn't have come at a better time. What a what a. Yeah, let's go! Let's go, brother. Let's do it. Go on. Well, a couple of extra seconds in that corner. Clyde Cowley, third man in centre ring, calling them out. It is all on the line, and this is our third quarter final. The third and final round, Jamie Eads. In the blue gloves, and Zane Hoffman in the red starts with a double. It's a strong way to start the third and final. And a nice clipping right hand from Hoffman back on his game. He needs this round. Looking for the high kick. And the axe kick. Oh, Hoffman's certainly starting off on fire. There's 30 seconds. Hoffman needs to be crisp. He doesn't have the same power. Certainly pick him up out of the speed. He's going to be looking for that hooking right hand once again. He's though. Slips the right hand. Doesn't manage to get out of the way of the knee that followed off the right leg. Two minutes gone. Nice rib kick from Hopman. Gets the better of that exchange once again. That right hand, though, going very close from Eads. Hoffman, though, answering high with his right knee. That one taken on the shoulder. It'd be really nice to see Jamie Eads throw a left hook after the right hand. Hoffman. Hoffman just seeming to get the better of each exchange at this point. Misses with the left knee narrowly. And another right hand. He is there for that. Zane Hoffman. Big rib kick from Hoffman. And we've already seen tonight as uh, Zane Hoffman goes farming. A couple of acres. The groin shot there. He has up to five minutes to recover. And again, you don't want to try and get up too early. Because the... Uh, yeah, just the heel going on top of the groin there. The toe went in the abdomen, but the heel on top of the groin and would have crushed the uh, family jewels. So he'll just be trying to rattle that very sick feeling. And we're underway just a minute to go in this the third and final. Effectively, our fourth round after that break. Well, Hopman finishing strongly. That's his second dump of the round. They're not scored, but they look good on the judges' cards. Hooking right hand there from Eads. He is going backwards though. Chris Pans from Hoffman. That hooking right hand, he just needs to try it at the chest, Jamie Eads. High kick taken on the gloves. 30 seconds to go. They're calling from the hands in Jamie Eads' corner. This is a very close fight. 
20 seconds to go. Sticky jab there from Hoffman. Misses with that axe kick. Not a lot on it. Nice left kick up high. Crisp right hand. Doubling up on that. Now Hoffman starting to finish strong. 10 seconds. And there's the right hand. The same as in the second round. It's a big shot that he carries. And his right hand there. But it's probably not enough unless he lands it again. around this is evenly poised jamie eads the etk fighter from the blue corner zane hoffman from new plymouth the world gold medalist in the ifma amateur competition don't take any time off it was a very close second round and could quite easily go a draw hoffman though almost certainly won the third and final he was clouded by one big right hand but recovered well to finish on top just beating each to the punch consistently both fighters though convinced they have won round will be the second round which way do the judges see it ladies and gentlemen after three rounds of action we go to the judges scorecards for a decision where we find a majority decision winner judge one scores the contest 29 29 a draw judge two scores the competition 30 28 and judge three scores the competition 29 28 for your winner, fighting out of the blue corner! Yeah. Turn up from the box, the tower right hands at the end of the second round turned the tide in his favor, the Kyokushin kid. An extremely close fight. But Jamie Eads hands Zane Hoffman his second professional loss by the narrowest of margins. Jamie, any point in that fight? You thought you might be going to an extra round? Yeah, I thought the, the coach would see get ready for round four, man. It was bloody close. Hats off to Zane. That was awesome. It's the hardest fight I've had in a very long time. Not the sort of fight you wanted an eight-man to start off with, is it? No, not at all. It was, it was hard. This is a fight of attrition. You know, he blocked a lot of kicks. He landed a lot of shots, did me a lot of damage. I really would have liked to win, knock out first round, but hey, it's an eight-man. Your coach was screaming about your timing. Something you've got to work on for the second fight? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Got to keep the footwork right and make sure that I can hit them on the way in and stop getting hit. Can you win the whole thing? I can win the whole thing for sure. I can come here to bloody lose it. Best of luck, mate. Excellent. Thank you very much. Cheers.